How's it going guys? It's going off good. And we're in the house trailer. And I am installing another, I think this is a, what was it, 8.5 kilowatt hours worth of battery here. I got six in here already, or six and a half, six, six and a half, I can't remember exactly. But this should bring me up to at least 14 or possibly 15 kilowatt hours in the trailer. Uh, that'll make it so I can run the central AC all night long for at least a good 10, 12 hours. And then after I install these, I'm actually installing a 12 volt air conditioner, 10,500 BTU, uh, that only takes 600 watts. It's way more efficient than the roof, uh, the roof model of this, this RV. So I'm just going through my balance leads, putting all of my balance leads together. Got a 100 amp fuse I'll be adding to this battery. I'm going to use three strands of this, uh, I believe this is 8 gauge. Three strands of this stuff. So that'll be 30 amps per strand. The BMS will be limited to 100 amps and the fuse will also be there. I actually might limit the BMS to 80 amps to prevent the blowing of the fuse, but the inverter can't take this much power anyways. The inverter's got fuses uh, that'll blow before all that anyways, because I have three sets of batteries in here and they're all fused for 100 amps. So that's 300 amps at 60 volts. And I have a 3000 watt inverter, so. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I'm back. I'm almost done the BMS wires. Just take a little break on my back. This is sore. I'm just sitting on the floor doing this. Now I am soldering and uh, taping them. And then I, I, once I'm done, I'm going to tape them all together in one clump. Uh, one thing I really, really, this is probably my favorite part. This little rock solar jobby here. It's about 100 bucks. This is all what I always use for soldering. It's just, it's so convenient. I can always get my solder gun where I need it. It's been running for hours. Not hours, sorry. An hour. And it was it started at three quarter charge. We're sitting at half now. And we got two wires left. Out of the 68 wires that have to be all combined into uh, a 3P. So three wires joined together, joined to the BMS wires. So four wires uh, each, con each connection are, is going to be joined together at the end and then I'm going to uh, screw some wood all the way around it so it can't move or anything like that, it won't jostle around. I'm not worried about it jumping uh, if I hit a bump that bad. I might put a strap, yeah, I still might put a strap across it. I'll just staple the strap on both sides. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Anyways. And then I'm going to run the main positive and negatives round, over, round, underneath this uh, metal trim piece, this metal, um, I don't know, uh, flooring divider, I guess. Come, you'll, It'll be exposed here. You'll see it. I'll have to drill some holes into there. And that's how I will be joining it to the rest of my solar, which is in here. <laughs> so, I got this... 100 amp fuse. I've used these before. They're not bad. Um, it might not be exactly 100 amps, but it's close to 100 amps. They will blow. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so I don't have the right size ring terminals. Well, they're close, but the hole's not big enough, so I'm just drilling some out. I just finished these ones. So now they are the right size. So, yeah. Okay. Things have progressed. We got the BMS, got the batteries. I got kind of taped together with just a little bit of capped on tape just to help uh, with vibrations and whatnot. I still got a, it's not even in the final place yet. Like this side's pretty good, but that side I think's pushed too far out. So I gotta get that right. And I gotta put the wood all the way around. I gotta put a little piece at the front as well. And then I got like a little leather cover that covers all of this. I got my, I decided I'm only going with two, I'm going to limit the BMS to about 60 amps, and I'm going to go with two 8 gauge wires, um, 
And same with the positive side too, just because I don't have enough space to go under that door to go <clears throat> with six wires. I can go with four though. It should be okay. These batteries might lag behind in voltage behind the main system, which is in here. So the, that system might be at 63 volts and this might be at 63 and a half or 60, 64 volts even. It might be a one volt lag. It's not ideal, but it's still going to work just fine. It's not going to hinder the system too much, especially at this high voltage of 60 volts. Nominal. Uh, 66 volts full charge is what I charge these to. They can go to 67 point something volts, but I, I let a nice volt leeway. And yeah, it's it's turning out all right. And then I, I'm most likely going to put a cover on top of this so that we can put storage on top of it again because there's still like a good six, seven inches of storage on top. And yeah, getting there. Let's get these other wires run. Okay. It's more or less set up. You see the blue light means my phone's connected to it. I've been checking on it. It goes there. I can get a little wire railway, a raceway, kind of like this, but it's got to be a little bit bigger. This one's more, I don't think this will fit more than two wires. That's all I got there. This is my solar coming in. i got to find me some of these uh, elbows. But it uh, goes underneath that little door. A little, little aluminum bit, and then we got it into here. This is well, that battery built from uh, batteryhookup.com. Built this a while back. This has a 100 amp BMS. These batteries got a 300 amp BMS, but I got it limited to, I believe, 80 amps. This one's limited. No, this one's the full 100 amps, I believe. But I believe this one's limited. And it's all powering just a little reliable 3000 watt inverter, so it's got oodles of power. I have this one limited to 60 amps because I'm using two 8 gauge wires in parallel. I really like these batteries, these are really nice batteries, man. So then that goes into here. I gotta start cable tying and stuff because I just put these ones in here. I had to cut a bunch of uh of uh, zip ties so I'll do that and then there's the equalization going it's putting four amps into those batteries plus the charger uh, oh yeah I got uh, a 10 amp charge going in so we're gonna charge these babies up and we're gonna give them a workout okay now you barely even notice you can kind of see a tiny bit under there but that's where the, the new home of the batteries are I'm going to take my toolbox out, the generator stays, that's just winterizing stuff, I'll be actually taking that out. And I decided I'm going to tidy up another day. i got to work tomorrow and I'm extremely tired. This has been actually a long project today, but i still got to keep an eye on this. The nice thing is, is I can connect, so that BMS there is Bluetooth, this BMS here is Bluetooth. That BMS is Bluetooth, and I can check them all from my house. It's got about 100 feet of range, approximately. And then if you got to go through walls, you got to take at least 30 feet off every time you got to go through a wall. But anyways, I can check them all, and I will also be coming in here later tonight to shut the charger off. Uh, I got, I believe it's about 1,200 watt charger, and I can do two, except for this power bar can't take it, neither can my house that it's plugged into. So I will be changing that. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Still got to put the wood around the, the battery so it doesn't uh, move around when I travel. But yeah, I'm really, 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 really happy. I'm going to put a smoke alarm under there just because this does turn into a bed. I want the earliest sign in case ever, anything ever happens. I've never had anything happen yet. Um... And I hope it stays that way. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.